Hello gentle viewers, this is Avindian, welcoming you back to Imperator Rome. Our last episode went quite well, we've expanded throughout the peninsula, and we've got a few other people that we'd like to eat. Delicious, delicious people. In the not too distant future. And that'll be fine. Oh, that's a very handy thing. Um, this episode's going to be probably more geared towards peace. We want to burn off our tyranny and burn off our aggressive expansion. Uh, but we will be expanding diplomatically, just not militarily. Now, thinking longer term, we have an issue. And here is that issue. Etruria has an alliance with Carthage. That's extremely bad. And... Yeah, you're not going to want to be my friend. And that creates a pretty significant issue. Um... Because we don't have a powerful friend. Uh, we could ally with, say, Macedon. See, they consider me competition. And that's our biggest challenge right now. Uh, we need a reasonably large power to be our friend. I wonder if Frigia would give us the time of day. They're outside my diplomatic range. Otherwise, oh yeah, that's, nope. That's fine. As we absorb some more of our friends, maybe we'll think about it. Uh, there's a couple things we want to do this episode. We want to establish a navy. Um, to that end, you're coming home. Excellent. Um, we want to invest in our nation to make them stronger. Now. They need to change this tooltip, by the way. It says promote pops. You can't do that anymore. Um, yeah, there are some pretty sweet things here that we could build. We need to earn some more money first. And we're making a fair bit. Um, we want to start gradually shifting our commerce from taxes to commerce. Let's take an overall look at things here. Um, as a nation, we have... Seventy-seven. We have a lot of freemen. I think making them shift over from freemen to the other thing would be quite lovely. Is there an easier way to get a breakdown? Well, let's pick a province. Let's pick uh, Lucania here. Yep, you're going to be... Oh, I see. Whatever you hover over is what it produces. Neat. Hmm. I think one of the things that Imperator Rome does really, really well is emphasize you need everything. You can't just have one or another. You have to have slaves, you have to have tribes, and you have to have freemen, and you have to have citizens. Which is fine. Um, let's go ahead and unpause the game. Um, you would like to import my wine. You'd reduce my maintenance costs. Nice. And earn us a bit of cash. Lovely. And 
And, oh dear, um, we got caught by some pirates, and we lost two Liburnians, but we also captured one. All right, um, we definitely need to expand our fleet. Right now we have lots and lots of light ships. Oh, and then you just need to be repaired too. Okay. These don't cost very much to produce. Give me three, no, four hexarenes. There we go. That'll get us our fleet up to ten. Actually, eleven. Whoops. There. We'll get our fleet up to ten, and then we can begin vet investing in other things. Um, yes, lovely. Oh, we want to make sure a specific button is checked. Yes, we never want to lose our surplus. Beautiful. Nice. In a little bit here, Marzia will join Team Rome. Right. Settlement buildings are quite expensive, and we've got a lot of them. I probably want to focus on making our cities better. Um, I actually would quite like to see Pops promote a bit faster. Um, I see these are all settlements, so I can't build them there. Interesting. Okay. We would probably want to build it in Rome, right? Let's do it. Military restructuring. We can place our trust in Valero. Or we can include all officers. I don't mind him becoming ambitious. He's extremely loyal. We can reward the loyal. That's allowed. Um, okay, we're up to 16k here. How much money are we earning each month? Less. We do need a more reliable source of income. Let's look at what how settlements work here. Okay, so you've got a farming settlement. Oh, you can only ever have one. I see. And how does a settlement become a city? Oh, here we go. Oh, that's what we can... That's quite good, actually. Uh, this is our civilization value. There's only one building, which is all we can have. How do I get you to turn into a city? Um, Beneventum. Hmm. 
So I guess what I find confusing is I'm not certain how you get from settlement to city unless there's just only ever going to be one city per province, which is fine. I think these are the governor policies, right? Yeah, which means this is going to cost me tyranny. Oh, no, it's not. All right. I don't feel the need to get Borderlands. I'd actually prefer to social mobility. Autonomy. Let's go for Encourage Trade. And these all seem fine. Okie dokie. I see, so you're a city. You're just a settlement. Got it. Let's earn a bit more cash. Here we go. What can I add here? You know, a level 2 fort would not be the worst idea. Because we're right on the border with Atruria. And if we do come to war, I'd like to be prepared for that. Could also build an academy. There's lots of good reasons to build things. A marketplace would increase our income. Let me build a second level of fortress. I just don't feel... No, let's actually build that second fort here in Rome. No, this actually makes more sense. Because we want to save... We want to save Rome itself for other things. And they're already at uh, nine building slots. So each city can have one building and one for every ten pops. So we're actually not far from another slot. That's fine. And settlements only ever get one building. And they're actually pretty expensive. Oh, here we go. For 200 gold and 50 political power, we turn them into cities. And it takes a couple of years. Okay. Good to know. How are the politics coming around? The populists are extremely powerful right now. I don't love that. I'm not sure how to break it, weaken the populists. Our vassal for a ducat. I could punish my vassals, or I could just find money somewhere else. I'll just find money somewhere else. It's not worth it. That sounds fine. Excellent. All right. We have a fair bit of coin. I would like to start building a second army. It's 
So, if we check cohorts... Let's start with five Prinky Pace. Wait another month. This is what I want the core of the army to be. Heavy infantry. All right, you lot. Go merge together, please and thank you. So I just want to quickly check. Okay. I would like a bit more cash. Um, for right now, look, let's build... Um, five archer cohorts. No, you know what? Four and a supply train. One, two, three, four... And then after one more month, I will have enough for a supply train. Nope, tell a lie. I needed two more months. And the governor of Magna Gracchia is dead. What a tragedy. Let's appoint a brand new governor. Um... Oh, you're quite good, Nias and Pronius. So here's the thing. You're already pretty popular. You're reasonably loyal, but you're very corrupt. You are not corrupt. Ah, you're a populist. Damn it. And so are you as well. Um, I think we go with Lucius here. He's not the ideal candidate, but he's really good at his job. Um, he is corrupt, which means he's going to cost me more money, but it looks like he'll bring in a lot more money, too. So we'll go with that. And yeah, he's going to boost our commerce income. Which seems pretty great. Alright. We're gonna wait a bit, and then we're gonna add another legion to our cause. And you need yourself a commander. I'm going to err on the side of caution and pick a younger character. Because that way he's more likely to max out his statesmanship as opposed to a 62-year-old. Now let's take a quick look at the government. So if I empower anything, it makes the populace stronger. So right now, the religious and the military factions are the two strongest. I can live with that. It's 
not worth tyranny. Okay. I'd really rather keep him in power. Oh, that's right. By rule, you can't have you can't rule twice in a row, can you? No, you can't. Um Oh, this tells people why they're picking certain people. Okay, that's cool. So it looks like our leader would probably end up being uh, from the mercantile faction, which I don't love. Ah, he's got family connections, does he? Interesting. All right, well, there's not much I can do to fix this. Like, I don't want to make the populace stronger. I really don't. And I don't want to folk. I don't want to sacrifice the tyranny. just to strengthen the military faction. And I actually don't mind having the mercantiles be in power. So I think we're fine. Um, what does this even do? Ooh, it reduces monthly tyranny. That's actually quite tasty. Okay, so this increases morale and manpower. Ah, the Senate doesn't want this. I think we need 60. Is that the issue? Yeah, it looks, it looks like we could try to get... Um, you know, reducing monthly tyranny is actually a pretty good thing. It'll give us more flexibility down the road. And now, when we need to, we can summon the Curiate Assembly, which can make our governors more powerful. That's actually quite good. And yeah, what's going to happen is um, Severio is going to be co-consul. And Flavius isn't going to win, which is what matters most to me. Done. A religious proceeding. We can... Let's go ahead and appease both sides. Three stability is nothing to sneeze at. Alright. So we have a new ruling party. Alright. Our biggest issue now is Nias Flavius. We need to weaken the populists. Um, let us begin. Okay, so this is what these actually mean. Alright, so step one. I need to rem undercut your base of power. Perfect. Done. Worry about bad research ratio here in a minute. 
You need a governor. Lucius Cornelius Scipio. Perfect. He's only 16. He's already got 8 finesse. And he's just gonna get better. Oh, we can call down an omen. Let's get some national tax. Thanks, Pluto. You're a dude. Um, I don't care if he's disloyal. He has no power base. Oh, sorry. His power base is one. I'm going to make you my rival. I could also just... No, it's not worth it. He's already really unpopular. This isn't actually going to hurt us much, if at all. Uh, the mercantile will become stronger. How can I further undercut you? Um, our ruler is a bit corrupt. I can't do much about that. It's this guy in particular that's the issue. He's what's basically carrying them. I don't think it would be a bad idea to use Hmm. How can I undercut you further? He's fairly prominent and he's related to the mercantile factions leader. Can I look like at your family tree? Oh, here we go. No, he's just kind of on his own. I could make him a rival. That could give me potential actions to get rid of this jerk face. Yeah, I'm going to make you a rival. Okay, we're making quite a bit of money. Let's add another five ships. I wonder what quadrarine. Oh, it's just a bigger version of a trireme. I gotcha. Uh, build me five of these. There we go. So we look at our decisions. There is one positive, uh, which is it can become a dictatorship. If his popularity gets to 90. Uh, but there's a few other things we have to get to first. There's some other cool things we could do here. We really don't want the populace to be very strong. If we can avoid it. 
Which, to be honest, we probably can. Hubris brought along the downfall, and our console's going to gain the proud tree. That's fine, I guess. I can't really do anything about that. We're making loads of money. Uh, do we have any good... Uh, where is the stupid research choices? There it is. I wonder why inventions are so much more expensive now. I'm not sure. I do know that we really badly need to start unlocking level one. Uh, what should happen any minute now, basically? Um... We need to improve citizen happiness. I'm not really sure how we manage that, though, so we'll just kind of sit tight for now. We're earning a lot of money each month. It's pretty great. Excellent! Ooh. Untiring devotion? Yes, please. Uh, we can make him look even cooler. For 18 gold, 6 stability and a boost to omen duration? That's so good. Okay. With the annexation of Marcia, we need to create uh, a new family. Oh, they would be considered minor characters. I got it. Are any of you, like, really great at anything? You'd be a really good commander, Calavius. I will take a hit in popularity to have another loyal soldier for future expansion. And then I'm going to tell the other ones to get lost. Um, Apulia, let us begin improving your relations with me. And the Senate loves the idea. Let's do that then. Um, I can't afford a new invention. The question is, are any of these so good that we want to grab them right now? No. So we're just going to wait until we unlock some new advances. I think that's very reasonable. And there we go. We got some nice new abilities. Um, a lot of these are really, really quite good. Heavy infantry is the backbone of our army. And always probably will be. Although some of these others sound really tasty. Like siege ability. I think it's more valuable to get this heavy infantry discipline buff. And then next invention will probably be sieges. Um, We are reaching the point where we could probably think about going to war again. Maybe. Um, possible missions. Ooh. Yeah, this is bypassed. 
So we need to vanquish the Lucanians. Where is Lucania? Is it really this tiny little thing here? Yeah, like, I don't care. Ah, so here's our issue. We need to wait until the truth runs out. I would like to pause the game really quickly. Why am I moving the army to Blanda? No reason. Don't worry about it. Everything is fine. Anything we can really do right now? I want to kind of just keep earning money for... Oh, yes. Lovely. This is the good stuff. We do want to improve our research ratio. I think that would be a wise move. Now, if we do go to war, let's get you down there. Excellent. Marvelous. All right. Now, militarily wise, siege ability is never to be disputed. Is there anything that would directly improve my research rate? I mean, happier people would certainly help. Um... I like reducing tyranny in case we have to use it. Let's go with siege ability. And then I think we'll invest in uh, one of the other ones in a bit. Taking out Lucania and, the Br and Brutia would be very, very welcome. And it looks like we need to import some things from people. Import. Uh, if we get a surplus in the capital, that would reduce our maintenance cost. We have a hundred political influence. Is there anything I can do with it right now? What can I use political influence for? A variety of actions. That's not helpful. Um... Oh, I see. If it's the consoles, I can change it whenever I want to. How is Latium doing in terms of pop promotion? So right now we're focusing mostly on promoting slaves. Oh, because citizens are unhappy. Why are you unhappy, citizens? Please tell me. Ah, you pops.
So I can move a pop here. And you're getting ready to leave. Uh, you're unhappy. So it's mostly cultural right now. Why are you unhappy? So it seems like we have a number of Jewish citizens and that's what's causing the unhappiness here. So what we actually need in Latium is not promotion speed. We need religious conversion. Let's do it. Okay. Are we getting to the end here? Yes. Okay. You really don't like the idea of declaring war. So let us begin by fabricating a claim. On Lutania. Worry about why there's so many troops close to your territory. I'm sure it's nothing. I'm sure it's perfectly innocent, and we're definitely not going to declare war on you. So don't worry about it. Legus Octiones, the recent work of plebeian jurist Gnaeus Flavius. Oh, fuck this guy. I don't want him to be happier. I'd rather be less popular. And get a bit more tyranny. Because I don't want you to become more powerful. That would make you console, and that would be bad. So we're going to take this and eat some tyranny. That's fine. And some guy got Mentagra. It happens. Um, I don't think they have, let's get another capital import route. Those are just too powerful, right? Or you could flat boost uh, population growth. More people means more stuff. Let's actually go for that. Uh, how much do we need to get a military tradition now? You need a hundred. Okay. Look at there. A bountiful harvest, you say. Let us drop the limit in price. And earn a bunch of cash, which we can instantly turn into a new invention. Brilliant. Um... Yes, let's please boost pop conversion speed. You are almost there, my friends. To joining Team Awesome. Um, we could invest some of this surplus in more soldiers. Oh, what tactic are you on right now? So we want heavy infantry, and we want archers. Well, let's make this a bit stronger. Let's have two 15,000 man armies. Um, I need... So if it took attrition... So this is basically enough for um, a campaign of... A few years, which is perfect, really. Let us get... One, two, three... 
four, five. That seems reasonable. Hi, Pelagenia. I think it's because the populace are so angry at me. They're basically holding everything up. So you know what we're going to do? I'm going to eat five tyranny. Or I can make the militarists more powerful and eat five and eat two tyranny. I think this is the obvious choice. And this should solve both of my issues. First, this now becomes a definite. Let's do it. And then when we're ready to declare war. Which I think the reason that we're holding back right now is because we don't have a claim. I wish it would say why. I do find that somewhat irritating that you won't tell me why you won't approve of it. Like, I could easily just spend another two tyranny and make the military faction even stronger. I think it's just popularity. I think it's that they don't like me personally. Um, so we have a harvest failure. We can either spend a bunch of money. We can just tell them to go screw themselves. Let's just go ahead and spend the money. We've got it. We might as well use it. Yeah, I think what we're waiting on is the Casas Belly. I think once we have it, it'll make people happier. And we might be able to push it through the Senate. And... Uh, here comes the claim. Okay. Now how do people think? It's just not that popular. And I think it's because of the freaking populists. The populists are being obstructionist, as they do. And I don't even think spending two more tyranny to endorse the military again would be helpful. But it couldn't hurt. So let's do this. That happens. Now let's go to the religion and let's sacrifice to the gods. Is that enough to push it through? It really isn't. Um... Um, see, this is my problem. I'm not very popular. How bad is tyranny? Tyranny's pretty bad. It's not a good thing, for sure. And I don't want to take the stability hit, right? So, let's end the episode. Um, let's actually just let some time elapse a bit and see if people's opinions change over time. 
I need a boost in popularity. I could plan someone's assassination. Hold the games in Rome. The Navy Admiral died. Sempronius Mons, sure. How long is my claim good for? How long is my claim good for? You know what? We're gonna take tyranny. Let's just get it over with. Attack. And that's how we'll end the episode. Next episode, we're gonna crush Lucania, and we're gonna take Brutia too. And then we're gonna be sitting pretty uh, for the next round of annexations and so forth. Until next time, though, this has been Avindian. Thank you for watching, and I bid you good day.